Hey guys, so today I kind of want to talk about a sensitive subject. Um, this subject is just everyone, anyone can relate because everyone has gone through something that has been the toughest section of your life. And some people's uh, challenges or obstacles may be different though. And for me, it was my sickness, getting diagnosed with lupus, and that was definitely the hardest thing for me to overcome, and it was just crazy, and just thinking about it gives me nightmares. The first year of me getting diagnosed was really hard and very difficult, and I'm sure a lot of my subscribers are going through that right now, and that's why I'm trying to be here for you, because I know that a lot of people aren't very supportive of this. And this goes for anyone, and because I know some people, have their parents, they go through divorce, and it's very, like, I, I'm so happy my parents are together. I couldn't imagine going through that. It, that's a very tough thing to go through, especially at a young age, and uh, I'm just very lucky that I didn't have to experience that. Or losing a very close loved one, um, losing a parent, losing a grandmother, a grandpa, an aunt, uncle, cousin, sister, anything. It's all very tough to talk about. And just thinking about it is giving me tears in my eyes because I've been blessed with that as well. And that's why I just feel no need to complain about my situation and my sickness because it could be a lot worse. And when I was little, not little, but like when I was in middle school and uh, like sixth grade about, I just remember saying, I wish, I would, I would pray to God because I believe in God and um, I'm not ashamed to admit that. But I'm not going to talk about religious views on here because everyone has a different view and, you know, that's you. But I just remember telling him that I would rather me get sick or anything happening to me than it ever losing a parent or one of my parents getting sick or anything and I don't know if that's a coincidence but I ended up getting lupus and you know I I just still feel blessed even though I have this disease and this is what I want to talk about because when I was diagnosed my freshman year I had no one I had it was just my mom and my dad when I was diagnosed, I would literally be at home by myself and I would go to school as much as I could and it was very difficult because I could hardly get up out of bed and it was just a horrible hard time. And basically, I, like I had friends and everything that I was friends with and you know I used to hang out with and basically basketball was my life during that time and just no one would come over and see how I was doing and like eventually they would keep asking me to come hang out come hang out and I'd be like I'm sorry I can't I can't I don't feel good I don't feel good and then it stopped then I no longer got texts and I no longer got any love from my friends basically and it was just a really hard time because uh, that's like one of your big supports you rely on as a teenager and uh, I had my parents luckily and I'm just so thankful for that that they're supportive of everything and just have been there through it all and uh, that's why high school is a very hard time because a lot of people as they say now are fake and it's just you can't tell who your real friends are until something like this happens and for me, I kind of found out who my real friends were, and I ended up with a whole bunch of new friends now. And it's just really, it's a really touchy subject. And I just, whenever I think back to that, I remember the days when I would not be able to walk up the stairs, not be able to do anything, and I, honestly, I don't remember my freshman year because I spent my freshman year on the couch the couch and doctor's offices. That's all I remember. And it's just a, it was a hard time. So anyway, 
if you guys are going through something like this, um, or anything you'd like to talk about, you know you can write me, because I'm always, always trying to write back. Even though I don't post videos, I'm always writing everyone back and doing the best I can. Maybe not in the comments, but in the messages, I definitely try my best to write everyone. Um, because it's hard when you don't have someone, and I know I'm just a person on a video, but I'm here if you need help or anything, and uh, that's just what I try to do.